Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, I had decided that I'm going to rest because already I had done a video that I was going to release at 7 p.m. But then I was going through the comment section on a video we did about uh, the widow to Dead and Kimathi. So I saw a comment from one of my best friends, Daughters of Zion, and this is what she said in the comment section. Hi Kiongo is expecting video from Bomet, Kansani, and that of Rigiji, Amechoma, Tena, compare na ile speech ya Nyanza. That's what she said. So, I decided that let me go and check what Rigathe Gashagwa has said in Bomet. Because today we are all aware that William Ruto, Musali Amdaba, Diwetangola, and the entire Kenya Kwanza team are in Bomet County at Green Stadium for, um, I think it's a church function. <laughs> so, I found, I, I got to listen to Rigathe Gashagwa. And uh, I was like, is this the same Rigathe Gashagwa who was in uh, Kisumu? The man we saw in uh, Homer Bay. But then when it comes to Bomet, it's a different person or the same individual. So this has made me to release this video today and this time. The one I had done, I think I will release tomorrow in the morning, eh? 6 30, so to Parana 6 30. By the way, Nguruwe Ata Uwoshe Namnagan Marangapi. Kawaida yake tu wa anarudi kwa matope. That's the kind of deputy president we are having as of now. In Nyanza region, the tone was different. It was a calling for unity. And everyone was like, aha, so Gashaka can be a, a, a leader. But then the same person, when he got to Rift Valley, area where Ruto got votes, he's a different person. He said in Nyanza Baba and Baba wait to see what. But now, Akifika Kule Kwangine, Anasema yule jamaa. And there was, you know, if you listen to what he was saying about what happened in Bombers of Kenya, is a man who even is creating more division that unity that Ruto was looking for. But Gashagwa has a reason there is something he's looking for. Listen to him shortly. Pale Bombers, kulikuwa number demons. Silikuwa simejaabo. Ingine ile ya pepe saba, ingine ya mukia tatu, mwenyezi mungu wakatusaidia. Na vale boma kulikuwa mbaya. Watu walikuwa metumuwa pale, wa muhonge chepukati na shiligi bilioni moja, ati atangaza yule jamaa. Akakata. Akatumiwa wakubwa ya jeshi ya polisi kumutisha. Akasimama kideti. Na mungu wakamuguza akasimama kidete kwa sababu Kenya ingechomeka. Kutoka hapo wale mausa ya GSU. Wakiogoswa na kamanda yao mungu wakaguza hao wakasema wataki Kenya ichomeke. Na hui uraisu wetu kwa sababu ni shujaa. Andigua miambiu atiaende akaye pahali. Atiangoje ataitu. Wakasema habana wewe. Atitukaye pahali tungoje. Wakasema tuende huko. Wakakuja na mama Rachel, Na pastor Dokas. Magoti wakaomba mbaka ile demons yote ikaondoka akatangazwa kama mshindi. Now Gashagwa had a reason why he decided to join William Samai Ruto in Nyanza region. Hakuwa kwa mpangilio aliingilia tu pup. He has a reason why he went to Bomet. And this is a man who is on a clear mission to destroy William Samai Ruto. I will explain to you but before we go to the end of that just a quick request for those who are watching and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our 10 subscribers, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you and back to this discussion. Now, why did that regard the Gashagwa is very different from any other politician in Kenya Kwanza? We have Musalem David there. Wetangula is there. There are many other leaders. But the Gashagwa is different, even from William Ruto. Ruto moved on long time. He is now championing for the unity of this country so that he can have an environment which is very conducive for him 
to run this country, to enable him to govern the country. He is a man who has already moved on. The only issue Ruto is working upon is to make sure that he has the country in his hand. And that kila mtu akwe hapa. To, so that at least he will bring, he will build a legacy which will help him even also to run the country. The very important thing when someone becomes a president, always, it is to look for a way of uniting the country going forward to make it easy for him to govern. And that's exactly what Ruto is looking for. But his deputy is a man on a different mission. Not the mission that Ruto has, not the plan that Ruto has for this country. And uh, the truth is that Kashagwa is no longer speaking for William Samuel Ruto. This is a man who is speaking for himself, for his own selfish interest. And this confirms to what we said yesterday. The reception that William, uh, William Ruto got from Nyanza region is something that has angered, surprised Rigathe Kashagwa. He never anticipated for something like that. And that's why you see, Gashago will come out with controversial statements to destroy any effort Ruto had made in Nyanza region and any other place in this country. Because you tell me, if Ruto was in Nyanza region, they coronated him as one of their leaders, accepted. Akaona Yule Duku Waraila Odinga, Yitona Noburu Odinga was there. Orengo, among all people, accepting Ruto to work with him, they were giving their plan for their county. They were lobbying for development for their counties to the president directly. Then Gashagwa goes out to speak something which is very different, away from the unity that Ruto was looking for in Nyanza region to make sure he's destroying any effort that Ruto had made in Nyanza. This is a man who is in a mission. Anyone who says that he's speaking on behalf of William Ruto is lying. He's not. And this can be explained eh, in the manner in which, if you check very careful, the way Prime Cabinet Secretary, Musalia Mudabad, number three in this government, is responding to regard the Gashagwa. Mdavadi is very different, and it's like Ruto has assigned Mdavadi because then he is a man who looks like he's sober and um, a man who is like neutral to speak and uh, respond to the Gadda Gashagwa. You listen to the speech from Salem Mdavadi yesterday and today, it is contrary to what Gashagwa is saying, and all of these people are speaking in the presence of the president. And seemingly, Ruto is kind of speaking the same language to what Mudabad is speaking, but Gashagwa is speaking different. So look at that. To destroy every chance, then after that, you capture William Ruto with the vote in the Mount Kenya region, so that you are not, exp you are not helping to expand his territory. Gashagwa believes that if Ruto is going to expand his territory, it will become then it will become a hostility situation for him. So he has literally destroyed William Ruto's efforts. For people of Nyanza who are listening to Ruto in Nyanza, then listening to Gashagwa as of now, even those who are accepting Ruto as their president, they will listen themselves from the what a song and bali was pana. Mutu wa serikali yenye nakaa hivi mtu mwenye anaongea hivi Because we are talking about the issue of what were Raila wanaamini ya kwamba kura zenye zilibwa kule zilikuwa kura za Raila Odinga Sasa the demon with the horns seven horns and seven tails kwani nani aliambia gashagwa shetani anakuwa na, na, na pembe na ako na mkia Who told uh, gashagwa the devil has those things he's talking about Nena le mwambia. Anaongea kuhusu kuhonga chebukati 1 billion to announce the contract. 
Why is it taking people back into the issue of election? Even most of people have forgotten Chebukati. Because for those who are thinking about Chebukati, they are thinking on how to open a case for Chebukati. While the watu azimio. Iyo ndi wanajua. So reminding the Azimio supporters about the issue that happened at Bombers. It's like he's just hitting a nail kwa vidonda. Anasindilia misumari kapisa kwa vidonda because people were healing. And the people were moving on. Now people are focusing on development but he pushes them back into the bombers issue. Now, this is a person who was speaking in a Sunday service gathering where we have men and women of God sitting there. Na mtu alisema ya kwamba there is a lesson people need to learn from Nyanza region. It was not all about church service and uh, demonizing other people in this country. It was all about lobbying for development which will touch on the lives of people directly. Na wakasema gasha kwa kienda Mount Kenya ama akiwa in any other area like eh, Mount Kenya and Rift Valley. It will be all about positions for few individuals and then the issue of demonizing other people. That's exactly what has happened. I don't know your views, but let us meet in the comment section. Thank you so much for listening to this video up to this far.